Now we've got a few minutes yet before the umpire calls batter up. And that's a good time for you to get set behind that grand glass of Valentine Ale or Bear. Yes, sir, it's time for those two Bs, baseball and Valentine. That combination's so good that I'm suggesting you take a quick trip to the refrigerator for a bottle right now. Or if you're listening in there at your favorite tavern, don't just ask for an ale or a beer, but ask that man for Valentine Ale and Valentine Beer. And now you're set for a swell afternoon of baseball and Valentine. The umpires met early, broke up with uh, manager Earl Col- Combs representing the Red Sox. Joe McCarthy doesn't come out. Single is out there. Of course, they can't start this ball game to 205. And now the Yankees will be out of their dugout and out in the field. There they go. Let's quickly run down the lineups now, because we don't have much time. DiMaggio, center field, leading off of the Red Sox. Pesky playing third, batting number two. Williams in left field, hitting number three. Burns Stevens, the cleanup man, our national anthem, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd settles back down again. Bobby Doerr batting number five for the Red Sox at second base. Al Zarilla will be in right field. Billy Goodman at first base. Bertie Tebbets catching. Alice Kinder, 23 wins, five loss for the right-handed pitching. For the Yankees, Rizzuto at short. Henrik at first. Barra the catcher. DiMaggio at center field. Lindell left field. Johnson at third base. Mapes in right field. Coleman, the second baseman, and Vic Rashi with a record of 20 wins, 10 losses, will carry the Yankee hope into the ball game this afternoon. So Vic Rashi has already moved out there to the mound. And we're just about ready to go here now for this big one. And before we take the air, I just want to say to Mel Allen that it's been a great thrill being associated with the Yankees this year. And Mel, it's been wonderful working with you. You're a grand guy. You've done a great job this year been a fine season so you're ready to go now Mel and take over hello there everybody well we started back in March preparing for the pennant campaign and when it began back in April there were those who didn't know what was going to happen nobody did there were those who didn't give the Yankees a chance to finish higher than third and third on down and when the smoke of battle has cleared today It may be that they have finished second. It may be that they have finished first. But let me say this. We have had occasion to root for the Yankees during the course of this year, a very courageous team. But today, against another great ball club, the Boston Red Sox, we're going to give this broadcast the treatment that we feel both teams deserve, an equal treatment all the way through as if it were a World Series. And the first pitch of the ball game, but Dom DiMaggio is in there for a call strike. So cast aside, if you will, permit us to cast aside our partisan feelings to bring a broadcast the most important of the year in the American League. And the pitch swung on a ground ball, hits the Henrik. He's up with it, outruns, down to first, is one away. I meant to say outran Dom to first. Dom DeMaggio grounded out to Henrik unassisted. Dom was hitting at 309. Here's Johnny Pesky stepping in. Newcomb going for Brooklyn. Meyer for Philadelphia. Here's the pitch. 
flag call over the inside corner. They'll be roaring on every pitch today. We got Lindell in left, DiMaggio in center, Mason right. Billy Johnson in close at third in the event of the bunt. Pesky guarding that plate. Vic Crashy comes in with his pitch outside, ball one. He got Rizzuto at short in halfway, four strides to the left of second. He's picking up a pebble. Ted Williams on deck. Jerry Coleman, four strides to the right of second. Henrik Deep guarding the line. The outfield shaded slightly toward left. The one-one pitch to Johnny Pesky. Swung on a miss, strike two. One ball, two strikes to count. Vic Crashy on the hill for Yankees. Ellis Kinder on the firing line for the Red Sox. This is it. It's only, the only tough part about it all is that one of these two teams has to lose. Now the one-two pitch on its way to Pesky. Here it is, swung on, fouled off to the left of the plate onto the screen. And this magnificent crowd will be roaring on every pitch if it's a close ball game. Sometimes these kind of games, the ones that you figure are going to be really close all the way, turn out to be routes. As Cleveland beat the Red Sox almost a year ago today, a year ago tomorrow, in a playoff game, the one-two pitch. Swung on Luke Powell back up third out of play. The ball going into the photographer's box just below the mezzanine. The Dodgers and Phils both scoreless in the first inning. St. Louis to Chicago, not yet underway. We'll keep you posted on the progress of all other ball games that are important today, as well as those that are just being played out. Rashes one two pitch, curve just high, ball two two two. The curve was over but high. Vic working very carefully on Pesky. Johnny hitting it 308. He's been a key factor in the rise of the Red Sox. Now Rashes two two pitch, swung on, fouled back to the screen. Pesky still manages to get a piece of it. Everybody that each team has will be in there today if they need them. Two balls, two strikes, one out, top of the first inning. Johnson's backed up at third with two strikes on Pepsi. Big Cal Hubbard calling balls and strikes. Rashi getting the sign. Now he starts to wind up. Around comes the right arm. The 2-2 pitch is swung on. There's a drive out to left field. Lindell's out there, and Johnny's got it. And now to back comes Ted Williams, hitting at 344. <laughs> Big Ted digs, digs in. The shift is on with Coleman out on the grass and right. Rizzuto on the first base side to second. Here's your pitch. Just outside, ball one, very close to the outside corner. Ty Ty Tyler coaching at third. Earl Combs at first. Johnson shades his eyes from the sun to see how it is. He's 20 feet off the third baseline. Outfield deep, round toward right. Here's your pitch. Williams takes the curve low, ball two. Two balls, no strike for count on Ted. He'll be slashing for distance. He gets one he likes. Two outs, top of the first inning. All right, Rashi's pitch. Low, ball three. Every one of those pitches been right around the plate. Just missing corners, and the last one is just below the knees. Buster Stevens is on deck. Now the three-nothing pitch. Inside, ball for Williams walks, and that brings up Stevens. Buster hitting 292. Outfield swings around toward left. Billy Johnson goes back deep at third, three feet off the line. Bill Rizzuto back deep over toward the gap. Coleman stride to the right of second. Henry Coley against Williams. Rashi takes the stretch, checks Ted. There's a move to first base, not in time. Little slug is up. Rashi stretches. Here's the pitch. Swung on, fouled off to the right of the plate, out of play. Strike one. Looks like Stevens was hitting that ball or trying to hit it to right field. 
Cleanup man for the Red Sox is in there. Top of the first inning. Left field is going to be rough on both Lindell and Williams today. Left field this time of year, the sun field is murderous. One strike to count on Burns Stevens. Williams moves off first to stretch by Ranchi. Here's the pitch. Stevens on the curve takes inside. Slow curve, ball one, one and one. Bobby Doerr is on deck. One ball, one strike, two outs. Mick again ready. Williams will believe. Henry Colding. Now the pitch. Curve is inside again for ball two. Now Henry walked over to say something to Rashi. A two one count on Buster. Mick knows he's got a dangerous hitter up there. Takes his stretch, Williams with the lead. Now the pitch. Swung on to high pop up. Out around second base, Jerry Coleman's under it. Williams running, and Jerry makes the catch. Right hander swoops down low into the windup. First pitch. Strike one call. Fastball with an inside corner. Kendra's beaten the Yankees four times this year. They haven't beat him at all. The right-hander throws. Rizzuto takes outside for a ball to bluff the bunt. Bertie Tebbets was ready to move. So was Pesky. You got Williams in left. Dom DiMaggio in center. Alzerill and right. Pesky third. What was that sign they were carrying? Tenant bound or derailed the limited or something. The 1-1 pitch to the scooter. Low outside for ball two. Pesky at third, Stephen short, door second. Billy Goodman first, Buddy Tebbets catching. Frank Cosetti coaching at third, and Bill Dickey at first. Last half for the first inning of the payoff game of the 1949 American League pennant race that has been a sizzler these last few weeks. Here's your pitch. Swung on, foul back just to the left of our boot. Hit the steel girder and bounces back downstairs. Kinder. Is a magnificent pitcher. Coming into his own this year, 36-year-old right-hander. He lost a lot of time when he was in service. Red Sox got him from the Browns. He won 10 games for Boston last year, and this year has lost him into a 23-game winner. The 2-2 pitch to the scooter. Outside, ball three. So Little Phil's got the count run out to three and two. Kinder starts to wind up. He aims the ball over the plate, and it is swung on line to line the left field line, and it's in there for a base hit. Bounces off into the corner. Phil goes for two. The ball gets away from Ted. Phil's going to go for three. Ted up for the ball. The throw to third. Not in time. So three base hits for the scooter. triples into the left field corner. The ball carried away from Williams and enabled Phil to make the triple instead of the double. And here's Tommy Henry hitting at 286. Kinder throws. Swung on him, missed strike one. Kinder gave him that screwball. The Dodgers failed to score on the top of the second inning. Nothing, nothing. Philadelphia batting last to second. All right, Kinder into the windup. In comes the pitch. Henry swings, sends a ground ball out towards second. Rizzuto will score. Door up for the ball. Throws to Goodman. One to nothing, New York. Tommy Henry grounded out. Door to Goodman. And there's one away. Nobody on. One run in as Henry gets his 84th RBI of the year. Now the batter is Yogi Berra. Berra batting at 277. One to nothing, New York. Ellis Kinder comes in with a pitch, swung on, fouled off of the left of the plate, strike one. Yogi was trying to hit that one over the head of Johnny Pesky, who's in close at third.
Kinder works, got a good fastball curve and a good screwball. Mixes them up nicely. The right-hander delivers to Barra. Swung on the ground ball, hit the second. Bobby Doerr scoops it up, throws to Billy Goodman. They're two away. Up comes Joe DiMaggio. Joe hitting at 347. Barrow was batting at 277 before he went out. So the option is around two down. And Kinder going to work on the clipper. Here it is. Just outside, ball one. Johnny Lindell is on deck. Johnny Pesky, fairly deep near the third baseline. Stevens into the hole. Door over towards second. The pitch right over for a call strike. One and one. Looked like a slider. Billy Goodman in halfway at first. Doesn't feed off the line. A lot of room in the right field corner. The one-one pitch. Swung on and missed. Strike two. He foul tipped it. And the ball hit Bertie Tebbets just above the mid on the wrist. He's all right. Joe went for a low fastball. Foul tipped it. And it's a one-two count on him. One to nothing to score. Favor the Yankees. First inning. Rizzuto scored his 111th run of the year. All right, Kinder all set. Give Joe some breaking stuff, most likely. The one-two pitch is just outside. Curve, ball two, two-two. Cardinals and Cubs not yet underway. Philadelphia batting in the last to second inning. No score with Brooklyn. Two balls, two strikes. And the 2-2 pitch. Swung on, fouled off to the right of the plate, out of play, into the upper deck. This is an enthusiastic crowd, as you would well expect, as was yesterday's. They'll be roaring almost on every pitch, every situation. This is what these two ball clubs have battled for all year, and the prize will go to the one or the other. They both are deserving. The 2-2 pitch. Swung on, fouled off to the left of the plate, out of play. You know, when you come right down to it, that is always the saddest part of any great athletic contest between two great ball clubs, and that is that one must lose. But whatever happens here today, the winner should be proud and the loser just as proud. Ellis Kinder's 2-2 pitch to Joe. Swung on, there's a fly ball to right field. Al Drillo racing over, he may get to it, still running hard, can't do it. Joe's going to go for two, and Drillo falls down, and Joe will go for three. Drillo throws on in, Demage goes to third. It's a triple for Joe Dimaggio. His sixth of the year. And the batter is Johnny Lindell. A two-out triple. One that could be wasted unless Lindell delivered. Lindell hitting a 239. Steps in. Two men out. DiMaggio on third. Ellis Kinder throws to Lindell. Outside, ball one. Billy Johnson's on back. Now the right-hander throws. Lindell swings and fouls it off to the left of the plate. He's off stride as he went for a breaking pitch. One ball, one strike, two outs. Last half of the first inning, one to nothing in favor of the Yankees. Rizzuto open with a triple. Scored on Henrik's infield out. And then after Barra had grounded out, Demage triples. So Lindell is up with a 1-1 count and two down. And Ellis Kinder into the windup throws, and Lindell takes low, ball two, two and one. Howie Paulette going for the Cardinals today, and Schmidt for the Cubs. Johnny Schmidt against Howie Paulette. They're warming up. Two balls, one strike on Lindell. The match comes up the line. Kinder delivers. Lindell takes high, ball three.
Wayne won the count on Johnny. Testy deep at third. Don't think Lindell will be doing it, but it's a great spot to bunt. Two out, not looking for it. Three and one, Testy deep. Of course, you'd have to get it perfectly placed to get the run in. Three balls, one strike, two outs. Kinder into the windup. In comes the pitch. Swung on, popped up into the air, coming back behind the plate. Tebbets after the ball. He cannot get to it. Down a play. And you got a full count on Lindell. Three and two. Demange is breathing quite hard there at third base. He's still weak from his ordeal and his battle against virus pneumonia. Near, uh, near pneumonia. Running around those bases took a lot out of him. He tells they're watching even. Joe McCarthy comes to the edge of the Red Sox dugout now as Kinder starts to wind up for the payoff pitch. Here it is. Lindell swings and grounds it foul to the left of the plate down the third base line. At the end of two innings, Brooklyn and Philadelphia, nothing and nothing. Newcomb going against Meyer. Russ Meyer and Don Newcomb. Paulette and Schmidt are warming up out in Chicago. That game will be underway in a few minutes. Last half of the first inning at the Yankee Stadium, two down, three and two on Lindell. The match on third, one run in. The windup, here's the payoff pitch, and Lindell takes ball four outside. That brings to plate Billy Johnson, hitting a 247. So you have Lindell on first, DiMaggio on third. Two outs, one run in. Last the first inning, one to nothing, New York. Kendra checks with Tebbett. Outfield for Johnson. Slightly toward right and center and right, straight away and left. Here's the pitch. Swung on a ground ball foul down the third baseline. Crescetti misses it. Coaching that third. Bill Summers goes over. Got six umpires again today. Cal Hubbard calling balls and strikes. Eddie Rommel umpiring at first base. Charlie Berry at second. Bill Summers at third. And incidentally, Bill Summers did a magnificent job back of the plate yesterday. As did the other umpires in their decision. Jim Honeychick umpiring down the left field line. Ed Hurley down the right field line. One strike on Johnson, stretched by Kendra. Runners off first and third. The pitch, low outside for a ball, one and one. One ball, one strike. Kendra working very carefully in a bit of a spot. The match moves off third, Mandel off first, two down. Now we're ready for the one and one pitch. Here it is, outside, ball two, two and one. Cliff Mapes in the batter's circle. Billy Johnson steps out of the batter's box for a moment. Now he's back in. The 2-1 count on Bill. A big hole in the outfield is in left center. Brady Tabbitts comes back behind the plate. I don't know whether Casey Stengel now will have Johnny Lindell running with this pitch. It's a 3-1 count on Bill. A lot of times it's a perfect spot to hit and run. But, of course, DiMaggio will play it safe. He's not forced. And uh, could be Lindell played safe with only a 3-1 count. The event Billy would swing and miss. But we'll see the stretch. There it goes, Lindell. The pitch is swung on. The ground ball back through the middle. Bobby Doerr up with the ball. Throws to first base in time. And there was a situation that... Uh, Caused by Lindell's breaking for second, it brought Bobby Doe over to cover. And had he not uh, had to break to cover, that ball might have gone through the middle. That is, might have gone right on through into center. So Kinder pitches himself out of the situation. One run for New York, two hits, no errors for the Red Sox, and two men left on for New York. So then a one inning, Yanks one, Red Sox nothing. It'll be Bobby Doe. Al Zarilla and Billy Goodman coming up in the top of the second for the Red Sox. And on this Ballantyne Ale and Beer broadcast, we pause briefly for station identification. The broadcast is reaching you over the radio facilities of WRNS New York, 1010 on your dial.
And just a quick look at the Ballantyne three-ring scoreboard in the American League. White for the White Sox. Garver started for the Browns. Ostrowski and Fannin have come on in relief. That's in the second and third innings. No score then of two. The only game underway yet in the American League. Brissy against White is going to be the pitchers Philadelphia and Washington. Over in the National League, Fox and Chambers, Cincinnati and Pittsburgh, 2-1 Pirates, last to seventh. Paulette going for the Cardinals. Smith for the Cubs, just about to get started. Newcomb for the Dodgers. Meyer for the Phils. No score at the end of two. All right, here's Bobby Doerr, batting at 309. Big crash, he throws. Swung on, foul back to the screen. Strike one. The Giants have Kennedy going, and the Braves spawn. No score at the end of two in that game. Bobby Doerr, right-hand hitter, leading off top of the second. One to nothing, New York. Rashi ready. The right-hander delivers. Doors takes strike two call over the inside corner. Fastball nicked that inside corner just above the knees. The outfield for Door toward left and center and left, almost straight away and right. Although, no, I'll take that back. Makes is more over toward right center. Johnson deep at third. Now the two-strike pitch. Curve is outside. Ball one, sidearm curve, one and two. Kai Kai Kyler coaching at third, and Earl Combs at first. Al Zerilla's on deck. Bobby Doerr standing away from that plate. Knees bent, open stance. Back cocked up off his right ear, leaning slightly from the waist. Big crash, he delivers. The pitch is a curve that just outside for ball two. Two two. That was the one that Vic wanted to get in there for the strike zone. Hoping to get Bobby to go for it. Now with a count two two. Vic's got to decide what to do with the pitch, and here it comes. Bobby Doerr is set, and the delivery swung on, drilled into right field. There's Cliff Mates out there waiting, and Cliff takes it for the out. Doerr hit a humpback liner out to Mates in right field. One down, and up comes Al Zarilla. Zarilla bats him left-handed, hitting at 280. You know, we've been so full of tension. All year long, that honest to goodness, today I'm just forgetting about everything. I mean, whatever happens, happens something's got to happen today. So, uh, this is the way it's going to be. Here's the pitch. Just outside, ball one. One ball, no strikes. The Yankees have done an out-of-this-world job this year. The Red Sox have just been magnificent. Here's the pitch. Strike, one call, fastball to the outside corner. You, any ball club that can make up 12 games from July 4th to now, and actually at one point they went ahead by one game, up until yesterday they had made up 13, a 13-game 13 deficit. You've got to be good to do that. The 1-1 pitch. Al Zarilla swings into bounder out over the head of Rashi, out to short. Rizzuto has it, throws over to Henrik, two away. Two up and two down. The batter now is Billy Goodman. Goodman hitting at 298. Top the second inning. Yankees won. Red Sox nothing. Joe DiMaggio uh, moves over into left center for Goodman who slices. They give him the right field line. Here's the pitch. Swung on, loop foul, back of third, out of play into the upper deck, strike one. Cardinals and Cubs are starting now at Wrigley Field. Paulette and Rice against Schmidt and Owen. One strike on Billy Goodman. Billy Johnson's in close at third. Five, six feet off the line. Rizzuto in halfway at short. Four strides to the left of second. Coleman four strides to the right of second. Hendrick on top of the line. The pitch outside. Ball one. One and one. Big hole in the outfield is in right center. And between makes the right field line. Although Goodman's a left-hand hitter, they don't play him to pull too sharply. Lindell not too deep in left, over toward the left field line. Big crash is 1-1 pitch on its way. Goodman takes inside around the letters for ball two. Two and one. Bertie Tebbets on deck. Bertie somehow doesn't like to stand on the batter's circle. He's off behind it. Two balls, one strike. Rashy going to work. Billy Goodman set. Just outside for ball three. Three one count now.
I never saw so many wires, telegrams that flooded our office here yesterday for both the Yankees, the Red Sox, for us, for everybody. The 3-1 pitch. Strike two call. Pumped the fast one through there. So it's a full count. Three and two. On Goodman, two down. Top of the second inning. Nobody on. Yankees leading one to nothing. And Rashi's payoff pitch on its way. Just outside for ball four and Goodman walks. And that brings up Bertie Tevitz. That's the second base on balls given up by Rashi. Williams threw base on balls in the first inning. And Tebbett steps in. Bertie hitting at 267. He's a money ball player. He's an old pro. Downfield for Bertie. Almost straight away. Rashi has a stretch. Checks Goodman. There he goes. The pitch is swung on a miss. There's a throw down to Coleman High, and it's a stolen base for Goodman. They had him going. The Red Sox playing daring baseball now. Of course, it's a steal situation. And Goodman got the jump. He stole second base. That's his second steal of the year. It uh, evidently was a hit and run play because Birdie swung and missed. Sometimes, though, when a batter sees a pitch in there for a strike, he'll swing at it anyway to nettle the catcher. So Goodman's in scoring position with a stolen base, two down here in the second inning. One strike on uh, Birdie Tuppets. And Rashi now ready to go. Takes a stretch. Here's the pitch. It's a pass ball. It gets away from Barrett. Goodman may try to come all the way. No, he goes back to third. That ball got away from Yogi. Squirted between his legs. Goodman took a big turn around third. Came up about 15 feet toward the plate and then went back. So the count on Tebbets, one ball, one strike. It's a pass ball charged to Barra. A pass ball. One to nothing, favor the Yankees, top of the second inning. A walk, a stolen base, and a pass ball has gotten Goodman to third. Now the 1-1 one -one pitch. Swung on as a looper out back in second. Coleman out there under it. And he's got it. No run. No hits. No errors. One left on. And the score at the end of an inning and a half. The Yankees won. The Red Sox nothing. Fans, of course, you know there are a lot of many special words and phrases we use during the course of the season when we talk baseball. A phrase like top of the order. What's it mean? Well, first batter in the lineup, right? That's what we mean when we talk about the top of the order. Now, here's the phrase to use when you want to order a little something that's tops and refreshment. And listen close to this one. Ballantine beer. That's right. Just say, Ballantine beer, please. And a moment later, there's a golden glass of sparkling beer topped with a thick collar of creamy white foam right in front of you. Just waiting for you to take that first thirst-quenching drink. Mm -hmm. You know, that famous three-ring trademark tells you why Ballantine's always so good. The first ring stands for purity, the second for body, the third for flavor. Purity, body, and flavor in every glass of Ballantine beer. So whenever you're thirsty, look for the three rings, call for Ballantine beer. Roberts is going into pitch for the Phils in the third. The Dodgers must be doing something. Here's Cliff Mapes up for the Yankees. Inside is Kendra's first pitch around the knees. Ball one. Mapes back from left-handed. Hitting at 245. Kendra throws. Swung on to ground ball. Hit out to Bobby Doerr. He's up with it. Throws over to Goodman. One away. And Doerr has been busy. Kinder's been making the Yanks go for that uh, pitch of his that takes off. 
and then pulling them down, uh, hitting them down toward Bobby Doerr. That's four uh, chances he's had. In other words, he has thrown out every Yankee who's gone out so far in the ball game. Now Jerry Coleman steps in. Coleman grounds out. Pitcher to first base. Ranky bats him right-handed. Two men down last to second, one to nothing. Favor of New York. Ellis Kendrick comes into this pitch, and it's over for a call strike. Fastball just above the knees. The Chicago Cubs are batting in the last half of the first inning. Cards fail to score in the top of the first. The one-strike pitch, Rashi takes outside and low, ball one. Count even up at one and one. The outfield for Big straight away. They're expecting uh, to the extent that if he should get a hold of one, he knows that he can drive it far until they're pretty deep. Fairly deep for a pitcher. Rashi hitting at 163. Swings and sends a ground ball back through the middle. Stevens out back to back, takes it a nice hop, flips over to Goodman in time. Nice play by Burns. No runs for the Yankees, no hits, no errors for the Red Sox, and nobody left on for New York. The score at the end of two innings to play, one to nothing, with Phil Rizzuto having opened with a triple and having scored on Hendricks in field out. A two out triple by DiMaggio was wasted along with a follow-up base on ball for Lindell as Johnson grounded out to Bobby Doerr. I'd like to take just this moment while Rash is going out the hill so that I don't forget it later. I'd like to thank everybody here at the Yankee Stadium outside of the bosses, and we always are able to say that to, to them. They know it. But... Uh, we would like to pay tribute to a group of folks who do tremendous work the year round here at the stadium. Such folks as the supervisors in charge of all maintenance, Jim Regan and Jim Thompson, and the special police with Lieutenant Amos Cardinelli. The Dodgers got five runs in the top of the third inning to lead the Phils five to nothing, and uh, looks like they've got that talent showed up there. Five runs for the Dodgers in the top of the third. Special Police, uh, Emil Sardinelli, and the Chief of the Ushers, Eddie Coyle, who does a great job. The Foreman of Maintenance, Jim Murphy. Foreman of Cleaning, Arthur Campana. The Foreman of the Ground Crew, Walter Owens. And our love and kisses to the switchboard operators, Ruth Bayline and Alice Dawson. All right, Alice Kinder up, takes the pitch in there for a call strike to go to the top of the third. Kinder hitting at 133. He's fairly a good sticker for a pitcher. Rashi sidearms him and in there for call strike two. Yeah, there are two girls that stay at that switchboard and they're in every bounce. So is there a game? Are there tickets? And they just work without a let up for hours on end. Ruth Bayline and Alice Dawson are loved to them. The two strike pitch swung on, fouled back to the screen. Count holds 0 2. On deck is Don DiMaggio as we go to the top of the order. And then Johnny Pesky. Top of the third inning, Yankees won, the Red Sox nothing. Into the batter. Outfield straight away. Rashi going to work. In comes the pitch. Kinder takes just outside for the ball. One and two. Just missed the corner. Big Cal Hubbard doing a fine job. And got a tough job. Big gets his sign into the windup. Round comes the arm. And the pitch curve is swung on. Pop foul out of play behind the plate. Slow curve. This broadcast, uh, the broadcast portion of this combined uh, broadcast and telecast is going around the world through the facilities of the Armed Forces Radio Service. Heard by shortwave by our troops boys and girls in service, wherever they may be. Now the one-two delivery on its way to Alice Kinder. Swung on a miss, strike three. First strikeout for Rashi. And now Dom DiMaggio steps up, hitting at 309. Grounded out to Henrik in the first inning. Score, Yankees one, Red Sox nothing, top of the third. A 
could have sold a million tickets for this ball game. They had room for him. Johnson in close to third the pitch. Swung on, fouled off to the right of the plate, out of play. Strike one. Rashi came in on the fist with the fastball. The Yankees in the dugout, tenth. Everybody is. Kurt's got one eye on the ball game, another eye on that ticker because we want to give you it's as fast as we get it. What occurs? St. Louis at Chicago and in the Brooklyn Philadelphia game. Dodgers leading five nothing. Phil's batting last to third. Cardinals failed to score in the top of the first inning. Here's the pitch. Swung on. A bouncer hit out to short. Two hops to Rizzuto. Up with it. Throws over to Henrik. In time. Two away. Two up and two down. Now you've got Johnny Pesky hitting a 3-0-8. Lupe fly to Lindell in the first inning. And you've got Ted Williams on deck. So it's always a big man in anybody's scheme of things when you're working against Boston particularly with two down to work hard on Pesky with Williams coming up. Here's the pitch. Curve in there for a call strike. Start on curve. There's not a man alive that wears a baseball uniform that doesn't respect the power and the magic and the bat of Williams. For that matter, Johnny Pesky, who's got 185 hits this year. Now the pitch. Just outside for the ball, one and one. Bill Johnson's in close at third in the event Johnny tries to bunt. Frequently, Johnny will try to drag one or bunt one to get on with two down ahead of Williams. Always represents a potential two if he gets on. Now the one-one pitch to Pesky. High outside, ball two, two and one. He's a rugged little fellow to pitch to because he hits the ball where it's pitched. In other words, he'll pull him. To right field, or he'll hit him to right center, straightaway center, left center, down the third baseline, through the middle, between third and short. He hits him anyway, and that's why he's kind of rough to pitch to. The 2 1 delivery. Outside for ball three. One to nothing, New York, top of the third inning, two down. And the 3-1 pitch on its way now to Johnny Pesky. Strike two called. Fastball board through there. See Bertie Tebbett on the top step of the Red Sox dugout closely watching Rashi for any tip-off on a pitch or something. Now the payoff pitch on its way to Pesky. It swung on, hit the line drive, grabbed by Rashi for the out. Robbed him of a base hit. That was a vicious line drive right back through the middle. That's a base hit uh, 999 times out of 1,000. Ranchy ducked low, sucked his glove up off his left ear, and the ball stepped right in there and pulled it out. You know, ball players say that's when you got horseshoes in your glove, when you grab those kinds. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left on. And the score at the end of two and a half innings, the Yankees won, the Red Sox nothing. Well, Kirk, if your heart will just ease up for a little while, how about a nice word? Well, it's folks so. Folks, are you enjoying the game? Well, let me tell you how you'll enjoy it even more with a delicious glass of Ballantine Ale or beer there at your elbow. That's right, a glass of Ballantine Ale or beer with a foamy white head riding on top. Does that sound good? Well, then how about getting a bottle out of the refrigerator? Now, if you're following the game, it's...